Hello, Grand Darlings. This is Nana and Papa, and it's time for Secret Tree, Sunday, October 16, 2022. This week, we're learning a Bible word, remnant. A remnant is a small part of something that is left over. That's why we have our torn paper. We're showing that there's a remnant of this paper left. It's something that's left over after the paper has been torn up. We're talking about remnant because this week we are in the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah was a prophet. In Zephaniah, Jesus is talking to a remnant of his people through his prophet Zephaniah. That means only a small number of the Lord's people received his conviction about their sin, agreed with him about their sin, turned away from their sin, and followed the Lord. In Zephaniah, Jesus tells, talks about the remnant of his people. That means only a small number of the Lord's people received his conviction, agreed with him about their sin. In Zephaniah, most of God's people decided they would not listen to the Lord's conviction. They refused to recognize they were doing wrong. They said they would never agree with the warnings the Lord gave through His servants and prophets. They refused to turn away from their sin. Instead, they wanted to follow false gods. So God disciplined them. He allowed a bigger, stronger nation to conquer God's people and take them into captivity. kids know that your parents often discipline you just like the Lord does? Sometimes you lose privileges. Sometimes you have to do extra work. When possible, you are expected to fix or replace what you destroyed. And sometimes, for a time, you will be separated from family and friend activities. But in the end, a remnant, a small number of God's people, accepted God's conviction, recognized their wrongs, agreed with the Lord about how bad their sin was, turned away from their sin, or repented, received the Lord's forgiveness, and followed the Lord. This is what Jesus wants you to do when you become a Christian. Accept his conviction, recognize your wrongs, agree with him about how bad your sin is, turn away from your sin, receive his forgiveness, and follow him. Therefore, in Zephaniah, Jesus wants you to know him as... Yadah. The Restorer of the Remnant Did you know we are halfway through the Bible? Oh, how Papa and I love all our grand darlings. Yada.
light of his word what a glory he sheds on our way while we do his good will he abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in jesus but to trust and obey Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side on the way. What he says we will do, where he sends we will go, never fear, only trust and obey trust and obey for there's no other way to be in jesus trust and obey father god we love you and we praise you we thank you for every beautiful darling child that we have we thank you for every darling family husband and wife to our children and to our beloved grand darlings who are just such a gift for our life we love you lord we want to give our lives to you. We want our children and grandchildren to love you more than we do. And we pray this in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen.